Hello Leo! Welcome back to Peony Lore where we help you to find the beauty in all things. Welcome to all of the new subscribers. I greatly appreciate you spending a little bit of time with me and receiving the information from spirit that is guided through me. Um, this is going to serve for all Leos, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the week of the 5th through the 11th. Okay? We are going to, as we always do, breaking these energies down, do um, the <laughs> Sacred Geometry deck. Oh, I love this one. You have two cards, Leo, okay? You have card 417. So this is about change, cleanse, <clears throat> change and cleansing any traumatic experience that you have been through. So this frequency card will be able to support you with that. This is an eight card. So what I'm getting off the snap is that um, this has a lot to do with potentially finances for you. Um, and then the other card that we have here is a reminder to stay grounded. So you need to ground and you need to anchor your energy that you've got going on right now into the earth in some sort of a way. So a combination of the 417 hertz, um, perhaps while grounding, sitting underneath the tree, taking a walk, um, going to the beach, doing anything that puts you in the, mo in the mode of um, just quiet so that you can listen to what's coming towards you, listen to what spirit wants to be able to offer you. And again, grounding your energy into the earth is going to be very supportive. Of course, the other way that you can do it is by taking a nice hot shower or a salt bath, um, spiritual bath, um, any anything that is going to put you into the space of being calm and quiet to receive. So we're going to follow these energetic cards up with the, I'm sorry, I'm going to flip that one back over, apologize, with the earth magic deck here. And then we're also going to go in with the gateway um, oracle as well to support these energies that are popping up for you, Leo. Okay, so here we go. All right. Wow. Again, you got two. So you have um, dragonfly, which is a beautiful <laughs> card. This is about emerging from something that has been challenging in the past and coming out of it um, emerging almost like you know, rising from the ashes type of energy that comes through. So there's an emergence that's here for you. And you have wolf, which is instinct, meaning this is one of the reasons they want you to get grounded is because there's something maybe a little bit off from what it is that you believe is in your energy. Your instinct is just a little bit off. So this is just a reminder to try to be in that wolf spirit. You've got to be quiet in order to allow the wolf and energy to come through and speak to you about what is the next step, okay? Um, so the other card that we're going to go into with is the gateway to help support for our Leos, July the 5th through the 11th. Thank you, thank you, thank you, spirit. They said shuffle twice. I will do that. Hopefully you guys have been doing well. Um, the energies of July have been and will continue to be very volatile for a lot of people for lots of different types of reasons, but this is the natural time of the year where, um, you know, it's hot physically. I don't know what's going on in the planet. Well, of course I know what's going on in the planet. <laughs> Why areas are so hot right now? Um, having a lot to do with um, energetic, energetic um, um, issues that are happening within Gaia herself, but it's hot, it's summer, um, there's a lot of extra people around, kids are not in school, whether you were in in a physical location or doing homeschool now, people are more out, the, you know, uh, at least the U.S. is a, a lot more open, so you're dealing with a lot more people's energy. So here's what we've got, um, Leo, embarking on a new adventure, and I savor the wonders of the world. This is awesome. This is really, truly awesome. So there's something great that's getting ready to happen here for you. So let's dig into it. I am going to be using a different tarot deck for the remainder of the month of July specifically because of those different energies that are popping through. This is the in-between tarot deck and it's basically two tarot cards in one. And the reason um, that I was asked to use these is because it's going to help bridge the gap for people and talk about the energies of where you're at between two specific fixed points. And so I love the fact that tarot gives you a description of potential that are getting ready to come up, but there's reasons why things happen or, or, or how you can receive the detail um, when you're in in between, literally two positions or two energies or two areas that are popping up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Let me grab Saturday and Sunday. Leo. Okay, 
Saturday and Sunday. Very, very interesting. Okay, I love this. Bottom of the deck energy that we have is mm, very interesting. We have the energy of the Five of Cups and the Six of Cups. I do believe that this is the same um, uh, bottom deck card that Aries received. So um, if you are dealing with an Aries or you have Aries in your chart, that, that, that reading might be um, supportive for you as well. So <clears throat> what we have here is the energy of the Five of Cups um, transitioning into the Six of Cups. So the Five of Cups is remorse. Um, woe in a sense um, you know realizing that you had all these things and then three of them needed to bust out <laughs> they're no longer in your energy and you've got two full cups that you're available to do something with now you just have to look at um, this as an area of opportunity and then traveling into the six of cups getting yourself into those happy thoughts or those happy moments I and mean, receiving that guidance from your, your higher self at this particular moment to put you back into the swing of kind of getting over that regret, that remorse, that woe energy of where we're at. Again, you're getting ready to embark on a new adventure. And so if your instinct has been off a little bit based upon something that you were going through that might have been a traumatic situation, you are definitely getting ready to come out of that, okay? So I'm just gonna move these little guys over just like that, and we're gonna go ahead and proceed. So Monday, we have the balsamic moon traveling into the sign of Taurus. And so security for people is going to be a big issue. The root chakra itself, um, how strong are you in that? But also knowing that at this particular moment, gifts and dreams are going to starting to enhance for a lot of people. There's going to be a lot more signs and synchronicities for people, especially when it comes to future options. So that's what's happening on Monday. And so the energy that's pulled up on the Monday for you is the seven of coins transitioning into the eight of coins. There was a hurry up and wait type of energy that kind of goes on with this. It was knowing that you had planted something in the ground, something... Um, um, needed to happen to allow these to continue to bloom and so this is definitely continuation of work um, or this is a new work type of situation there is re there are things that still need to be done here so we're not in the mode of waiting anymore with the seven we're now in the active um, phase of doing something with this energy this eight of coins on that Monday on this Tuesday what we have for you is the in between the five of swords and the six of swords so the five of swords is also that energy of um not having someone have been completely on your side um a lot of a lot of <laughs> a lot of strife a lot of uh, i want to call it anger there's a lot of anger energy that i feel out of this particular card a lot of carnage if you will with something that had to happen like i said it's something traumatic was going on with you the five of swords definitely depicts that however you're finished with that particular battle. You're now moving on into the Six of Swords. You're moving into a calmer space. You're moving into this new arena. You're moving into this new place coming out of this dark energy, okay? As we get into the Wednesday energy, what we have here is the Knight of Coin energy mixing with the Queen of Coin. Okay, so um, what I want to say about this Wednesday is that it is a heavy portal day, 7-7, seven, seven, okay? It's a 10 universal day so the 10 energy is at the end of an old cycle so that a new cycle can begin and so naturally that's all about transition so gemini aries capricorn um virgo for sure are going to be experiencing a lot of these high 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 intuition days a lot of a lot of people will but um astrologically the moon is squaring neptune and so this really is an opportunity to really finish up any projects that are really out there so that that so that they can be done and it's really going to carry over wednesday and thursday you're being given this opportunity because on friday we have the new moon in cancer that's getting ready to show up but let's focus on this wednesday energy okay so we have the knight of coins at this point who wants to be able to deliver this information to the queen of coins now this queen of coins here is depicted as you know carrying a child and uh, not right ready to be burst in the upright position but basically what we're talking about here is new freedom when it comes to finance we're talking about new freedom when it comes to being completely 100 percent secure so something is getting ready to change on this particular day and i'm going to turn it back in the upright position for you when we get to that thursday energy where we're at is the energy of being between death and temperance so again it's that waiting period but it's this is the energy of coming through with that dragon five that spirit of um death is you know the the phoenix rising um literally beyond the ashes that's here having to 
died having to have experienced something that was old so that you, there's this new ringy generation that's there and with temperance also being there temperance is talking about healing and creating the balance um, between what needs to happen here. There's a lot of throat chakra energy that's in this major arcana of this uh, Sagittarius here for you. So I just wanted to kind of put that out there. Um, and then, of course, death is the major arcana of Scorpio. So, um, you know, you've got a couple of major arcanas that are sitting right next to each other. So this is kind of a big deal. <laughs> so if you've been resisting this change, if you've been just waiting, waiting, waiting for something to happen, well, this Wednesday, Thursday, it's getting ready to go down. Okay, it's what I'm trying to tell you. Um, the universe is doing stuff behind the scenes, but the reason why the cards presented in reverse is because you're just at that point where you're going to start realizing that these things are getting ready to come into fruition for you. Okay. When we get to the energy of Friday, the new moon in cancer, this is a time to now start to begin something new and be aware with this cancerian energy that's here. Um, you, we've got the energy of between the lovers and the chariot. So strong decisions being made and, um, going forth with this chariot energy into a new direction. So this is a lot of, um, this is a lot of sacral energy that I'm getting here. A, little, a lot of sacral chakra, that energy that's going on with the, uh, with this cancerian energy that's here. Um, the lovers obviously is the major arcana for, um, Gemini, but I wanted to be able to explain that because the energy that's coming through doesn't always just have to be about the sign that it naturally presents itself. This is I'm picking up and I'm being told what kind of kind of this detail is that's here. But regardless, the chariot has this recognition of saying, yes, there's a choice that's um, coming and it's going to be a beautiful choice. You're going to make a beautiful transition. And this chariot um, that's here, that's here and he's just representing the wheel from the chariot here is uh, all about the fact that um, you're going to be moving forward and that might be a little bit challenging for you to think about where you're gonna go but know that temperance is here behind the scenes working it out clearing the path for this chariot to travel in this gorgeous direction so as you are making this choice and to go into doing the new there should be no fear about that because you are heavily covered here is what I'm seeing as we get into the Saturday's energy, now we're at the energy of the, of being between the seven of wands, holding your ground. Um, you've made your decision. You said what you had to say. And now you're just at the point where you're either going to start communicating something different to someone or there's more communication that's getting ready to come into you. You're at the position where you've, you've, you've held your ground and there's also this middle ground between you having to go and do this next thing. And this next thing is going to be extremely awesome. We are in the energy here on Sunday where um, Mercury now transfer, transitions into the sign of cancer, creating a lot of inspiration for people. So this card shows up right on time for you. You're in between this three of wands, okay? And this three of wands energy transitioning into the four of wands. There's this journey that you're getting ready to take here. And there's this path that has been very clearly laid out for you. And so the three of wands, you can think about it, about your ships coming in. You can think about it. You have made a choice and spirit is coming in and agreeing with that choice. And it is watching you do your first couple steps and your commitment to the process is where they're coming in and they're supporting you because this is going to turn into a four of wands moment. So this is security. This is security in a home. This is security in a business. These are proposals that are coming to you. It doesn't necessarily have to be marriage proposals, but it can be for some people because the lovers is sitting right here. Um, and it also means happiness in the home and some sort of a, a, a big event that's getting ready to take place. So this three of wands is guiding you to that happy moment, if you will. Okay. And again, like I said, the bottom of the deck is just being able to allow yourself to let go of anything that was um, challenging in the past, let, letting yourself know that you had the right to move forward from something that was no longer supporting you and that these happy moments are coming back. So we're going to go in now with the um, white sage tarot deck and we're just going to do one card on each. Okay. <clears throat> so here we are on this Monday for our Leo's. This seven into the transition of the eight waiting period is over and now we're starting to do some work. Wow, that was fast. Okay, <clears throat> so there is something that's still potentially unjust or unbalanced in this particular situation. I do really feel that it's you and this energy, although of course with the justice card coming out, it really honestly could be Libra. 
um, that's in your energy, but this is a lot of throat chakra energy. Um, so there's, there's still something that's unbalanced, um, that needs to be worked through a little bit. Okay. I am going to go mo move on to this Tuesday energy of this five of swords transitioning into the six of swords. What do we have for our Leo, please? Thank you. Ooh, we have the magician. Okay. So the magician is coming in. <laughs> the magician is talking about having everything that you need, right? You have the energy of all of the elements within you in order to strike and do what it is that you need to be able to do next. This is very indicative of traveling. So I do feel that some of you have, um, are getting ready to move into a situation where there's travel that's ahead of you. Um, again, we've got the six travel and then we've got the chariot travel. So some of you are going to be moving from a situation that is not right for you, whether it's a physical home, physical place, business, whatever the case may be, you are physically moving. You are moving into something new. Okay. And I think that's gorgeous. Now, now, let's hit this knight of coins energy moving into this queen of coins this is what we want to have happen for you so what do our um leos need to know about in order to take advantage of this energy empress you gotta allow yourself to manifest what it is that you want again this is libra taurus energy the um, empress is um venus so it's governed by libra and taurus um <clears throat> It is possible that you are moving away, Leo, from a Libra. I have to put it out there. Um, but that that's exactly what we've got going on here. Now, here's the thing with the Empress. Again, whether you're male or female, it doesn't really matter. The Empress puts out to the universe what it is that she wants, and she receives what it is that she wants. She doesn't chase anybody. She just waits for the information to come to her. Because of the different visions that I'm getting here, the visionary um, stuff that I'm seeing here, there is a likelihood that there is someone in your energy that is getting ready to um that is getting ready to have a baby there is an announcement that's getting ready to happen and so that's one of the reasons why move could be potentially happening for someone here okay all right let's hit this death card in this temperance card here for our leos thank you so we have two cards we have the hierophant that came out and we also have the queen of swords so very similar um this is an official situation that cannot be, um, you, there's no escaping whatever this particular situation is, okay? The Hierophant is asking you to go within. This is the original Pope card. So this is an official situation. It can be um, a religious ceremony. It could be um, just seeking counsel. Um, within a mosque, a synagogue, a church, whatever the case may be, you know, you could be outside praying to the goddesses of the underwater basket weavers. It makes no difference to me. Basically, the energy is that there's a piece of information that is here for you, and there's a graduation point at this point that happens with this hair font. The hair font says that you have all the keys within you in order to do this next step. You absolutely do. You just need to turn it. You need to turn the key within yourself here. Now, the Queen of Swords is saying, okay, and this is a lot for me where this grounding and anchoring kind of comes in, whatever is going on, your intuition is going to be kicked off in extremely high fashion. The Queen of Swords comes through and does not take any BS from anyone. She is very capable of cutting someone down to the quick and saying, absolutely not, you're a jack -a hole get out of my space. That's exactly what her energy is. She does not do it with love. She's already so intellectual about what's getting ready to happen here. Again, I do feel strongly that there's Libra energy that's sitting in here. So if you are dealing with the Libra and there's something that's going on, just know that um, this potentially could be one of those situations where um, th there could be some um, interesting, harsh conversations coming up, depending upon how she plans to wield that sword. But again, death there's an there's an avoidance uh, originally what this was saying is there's an avoidance of this change that needs to happen but balance is incorrect balance with this temperance there's something that's imbalanced again with this justice card so that's something that means something to someone specific um so that is the detail that we have here on that card now let's move over to the lovers and let's find out what's going on with our leos in this lovers into the chariot move here there it is okay 
So we have the Eight of Cups that's in the reverse position, which means that there is a little bit of hesitancy or there's some reconsidering reconsideration that's going on um, between what's going on in this love situation, what's going on with this chariot. The Eight of Cups isn't bad. Um, if it's in the upright, it's just saying that have it's just saying that you've done everything that you can do and it's absolutely time to move on. When it's sitting here in the reverse position, there's a little bit of hesitancy or there's some thought process about, ooh, I didn't finish something that I needed to do and now I need to go back and get that done. Now, I did say that on, <clears throat> um, you know, that, that Tuesday through Thursday, there's this energy that's coming in within this high energy of the portal of the 7-7 seven, seven, that's saying you must finish up old things. If something is incomplete, you need to complete it because the Cancer New Moon on Friday wants to allow you to begin to do something new, okay? So there just seems like there's a little teeny tiny bit of hesitancy or there's some reconciliation that's happening in one way, shape, or form, okay? Now let's go hit the Saturday energy with the Seven of Wands turning into the Eight of Wands, holding your ground and expecting information to come through or saying something that needs to be said. We have two cards. We have the Moon in the reverse position and we have the King of Cups now. Okay, so <laughs> um, <clears throat> we know that this Pisces Moon that's coming through um, is also associated sometimes with Neptune. Um, which can be creating some confusion for people, but it is a highly, in, uh, it's a highly intuitive card. It's a very spiritual card. And when the moon is in the reverse position like this, I kind of want to change the position of where it's at. When the moon shows up in the reverse position, whatever needed to be revealed is revealed. There's no secrets anymore at this particular moment. Now, and with that king of cups that shows up here with it, now that the energy has been communicated, all right, now you can feel comfortable traveling with this king of cups at this particular moment. Very kind, knows everything that he needs to be able to say, always says the right thing, um, is in it to win it, is in it for the long haul, and is just, he's very generous of spirit, okay? So as we move into this Sunday energy, this Mercury now in Cancer with this inspiration, I mean, look at this. Dreams coming true, meeting your ships, doing the work, um, waiting for this auspicious moment with this Four of Wands moment, okay? We have the Strength card. We have <laughs> Leo Major Arcana coming in here. This is a lot of heart chakra energy that's popping through at this particular moment, right? So Leo is talking about... Um, self-expression it's also talking about freedom and it's also talking about travel so somebody is moving and this may not resonate for everyone but someone is getting ready to lay it down for their family that they are now um, ready to move forward with a new love relationship and you know there's a child that is in there bottom of the deck that we have is the hangman energy that is neptunian energy this does also talk about some some um, confusion, but it does mean that there's a lot of dream state that's coming in. So when the hangman shows up, this is kind of like a surrender. It's like, okay, listen to what the universe is trying to tell you right now. Just be quiet and let us speak to you. Let us tell you. Let us give you the information, right? But you definitely are embarking on a new adventure. So the hangman, another major arcana that's sitting out here, is saying, yes, this can happen. So the hangman, and I'm just going to dig in there. Look at that. You got the Ten of Cups moment, and then you have the Ten of Pentacles moment, and it all starts with this work, right? It all starts with that work that has to happen with that Eight of Pentacles. So this is gorgeous energy. Congratulations to whoever it is that's out there that is not stopping um, their world um, and that they're going to say their piece. It's very hard to do sometimes. I Trust me, I know that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just take a couple cards from the Oracle of the Radiant Sun, and I would like to have a little bit of information on this Empress, please. Ooh, okay. What we have here... <laughs> Well, um, both of these cards are governed by um, Saturn, and what we have is Saturn in Virgo at this moment, feeling that there was some isolation that was happening here, okay? And the other card that we have here is a Major Arcana for Sagittarius, and that's Fulfillment. So there's something that you were missing um, that you weren't receiving that you were looking to receive, and it kind of held, made you feel like you were out of whack like you you knew that you put out what you wanted and it just wasn't coming in the way that you were expecting it to right so the thing about it is is though this fulfillment card that comes this hermit that's sitting here all right 
um, and this isolation card that's sitting here, you, you have to be able to, you have to be able to realize that sometimes you did have to wait. Sometimes you do have to wait for the right timing. And when you wait for the right timing, the situation um, kind of shows up the way that it needs to show up. I want to hit this justice that's in the reverse position, please. Why is the justice in the reverse position for our Leo over here on the seven, eight of coins? I'm just getting it wasn't the right time. Okay. Um, so, <clears throat> yes, we do have this. So we definitely have Taurus showing up, the sun in Taurus. Now, the, obviously, the moon is in um, the balsamic position here on the fifth, but we have acquisition. So this is that aspect of not waiting anymore with the seven and transitioning into the eight, um, receiving the things that you need to do. Now, the reason why justice is in the reverse is because the energy of Scorpio showed up here. Um, with this mercury energy and there was something that was going on to the nth degree and so just again it wasn't time it wasn't just for whatever needed to happen um, happen in that vein I'm gonna take a card on this moon and the king of cups raise you okay is it possibly all of these tell me how to proceed <clears throat> okay moon and cancer energy this friendship that's here with this eight of cups there's something that's being reviewed here um ostentation so again that's the energy of Taurus coming through here with this acquisition something is just not quite in balance although it will be there's something that's not quite in balance and you should be able to understand what that is so the Sun card that we have here in the sign of uh, Gemini is talking about being versatile and this versatile uh, energy is here on this two of wands with this king of cups now there is a matter of control that's sitting here and this matter of control that's sitting here definitely belongs here with this death energy that's showing up um, I almost wanted to put it on the magician but there's something that needs to be discussed and there's something that has to happen with this level of control here with this um, Hierophant and this Queen um, the devotion card that comes through is really where they want me to place it here on the magician and that's the devotion what are you devoting yourself to at this particular moment as you're coming out of strife and you're getting ready to start the process of being guided you have to be able to realize what it is that you're devoting yourself to person place thing idea so that's the energy of Libra that balance energy transitioning for you into um, most where Saturn can assist and then the final card that we have here is this rebellion card <laughs> well this rebellion card absolutely belongs here um, the rebellion card that's coming through is not giving two rips about what anybody else has had said going on and actually doing the softening at this particular moment in order to um, flow with the energy, especially with this healing that's sitting here. So I know that sounds a little bit odd to some people as they're looking at signs and things about where they go, but I just do what they tell me. I place them where they tell me to place them. Um, and so hopefully that gives you a little bit more background about it and can support why they're asking you to continue to stay grounded as you get ready to go through this cleansing period of anything that has been traumatic. You are definitely emerging into something new. So this is the Therapy Angels, and I'm going to ask the Therapy Angels to give me some information for our Leo in this period of time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> All right, cancel clear delete. 
I'm not surprised I'm seeing that one. So <clears throat> as you're going through your transitionary period here, make sure that you're not talking negative about yourself. Your body is listening to you, okay? Um, the universe is listening to you. Cancel, clear, delete. If you find yourself saying something negative about yourself, about somebody else, about a situation, it doesn't really matter. Cancel, clear, delete whatever negativity you just put out there in the universe and replace it with something kind and generous, and especially for yourself. Because your manifestation that's going to happen this particular week is going to be so strong. You want to make sure that you're bringing in um, the highest positive vibes that you can, okay? All right, angel guidance for our Leos this upcoming week. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Expect miracles. Well, we love that. Um, so expecting miracles, you specifically have to make sure that you are high vibe enough to allow that energy to come through. And again, you have some major arcanas that are sitting here with this lovers and the chariot card. And you also have, like I said, the death and temperance that are sitting here. So temperance wants to be able to come in and help to balance things out. And it's working some things out in the background for you. Allow them to happen. This is absolutely for you. Okay. So we're going to go in with our Beyond Lemuria. This is for Leo. All right, what'd I say? Root chakra, ground and center, ground and center. And then the other card that they came out with was um, vulnerability. Um, so you have to be able to be flexible. This is where this versatility card comes into. Ver vulnerability doesn't mean being um, led astray. It just means allowing other people to understand what they need to do to support you. So you've got to be able to say your piece and count to three, right? And then again, the root chakra is very, very important. So, um, what I want to be able to do is talk about uh, going into card 26 with this hurts information and see whatever else they want to offer as far as um, advice on um, that particular card. Oh, I just passed it. Sorry about that. Okay. So the frequency that you have here, just plop it into YouTube, 417 hertz. You'll come up with a lot of variations of it, anything from like 10 minutes down to like overnight if you really needed it. But change cleanse traumatic experiences i cleanse myself of all traumatic experiences on a cellular level to bring me a new sense of awareness and understanding okay the intention is to help you facilitate change by helping to cleanse traumatic experiences and clear destructive influences many of us have experienced some sort of pain whether it's emotional mental or physical and <clears throat> pain and trauma are subjective and express themselves in many different ways some experience pain through the loss of a loved one or in childbirth through physical or other types of assault um, by allowing yourself to be a victim okay it's important to work towards clearing those destructive influences from your physical body so it will n n so it will otherwise it will end up creating dis-ease and um, c uh, in incurring headaches and anger and self-destruction so this is not an overnight type of a situation. This is not a quick fix. This is not going to happen in five minutes. But if you start working on it now, you will get to a point where you're going to emerge um, very, very clear of any old shit that was going on in your world. Okay. So they are saying for sure the root chakra is the color red. All right. And then the um, emotional area of your life is the sacral chakra. And that is orange. So they want you to work with red and orange. You can wear red, you can wear orange, you can eat red fruits, you can eat orange fruits, whether it's vegetable or fruit, whatever the case may be. And I'm not talking Cheetos, okay? <laughs> um, but if you want to take advantage of some crystal medicine that would support you, you can use tangerine quartz, rhodochrosite, showerite, or sugalite. Those would be really, really good ones to help you with root chakra. And then the other one that will come through is going to be something like a carnelian to help really, really ground you okay so and I just I want to show you this this is my newest carnelian this is my snake skin carnelian um, Jasper I really really love it and there is a lot to be said about holding on to a piece like this the more grounded you are I have to say this the easier it is for the energies to come and approach you because you're not going to float away with it okay you'll know that the information that's coming in for you is for you so 
Leo, that is what I have for you this particular week. Hopefully you were able to resonate with the majority of this. Of course, if you didn't, make sure that you take a look at your sun, your moon, your rising, and your north node. If you did, make sure that you give it a like, support the channel, subscribe if you've just been a visitor. Um, that really shows the support. Comment will um, uh, support me as well as we continue to grow. Um, otherwise, if you are looking for some personal one-on-one -on -one additional information, my contact information is in the description box below. Um, my booking information is available. I am open for the remainder of July. I'm not on vacation, so I'm willing to um, support anyone that needs to have that support. Otherwise, um, I would make sure that you, again, are taking a look at some of the other titles that I think that might pop up for you. Um, that would also be supportive but otherwise this is what i have leo so congratulations to those of you that are moving on into a new um part of life congratulations to the new parents that are out there um and we will see you next week many blessings bye for now